everyone, my name is Cyanide Storage and welcome to Salt and Saint Query, a game that I know absolutely nothing about, other than that, it, other than that it's another um, Souls-like game. I obviously like Dark Souls because along with this and Asterikos, I have been recording and playing a lot of other Dark Souls. Um, I was going to say knockoffs, but it's really just a charm in itself. And the reason I enjoy said genre is because, well, it's just, oh, I forgot to mention that it's 2D. <laughs> that took me back. Uh, not the, Jesus, okay. It doesn't have the most visually pleasing models. I'm not surprised though. This game was made in like 2017, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of um, weirdly outdated things that we're going to be seeing here, but from what, I'm, from what I've heard, or from what I've come to understand from other people talking about this game is that it actually holds itself up pretty damn well, even in the Modern age of gaming. I don't know what I want to do here. Uh, there are no stats. I'm guessing that it's just weapons that change. I'll be a thief. Fuck it. They look cool. Red shards. Gasping ring. I don't know what any of this does. Okay. All right. The world has no more for centuries, but peace is finally precisely near. We're delivering the prince to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage aligns to save all. Failing this mission will surely plunge us into darker days. And here we go. So yes, this game is 2D, which is, I don't want to say it's rare for Souls Like Kings, but it's definitely not a entirely widely used format. Are you friendly? Ow. Oh, you there, stranger. We've been boarded in the night. Ugh. They'll, they'll want to kidnap our lady. Ah. Ransom her. Protect- Oh shit! Okay, um... Damn! My man just got snuck. That's depressing. Alright, let's go forward. So aerial combat is pretty cool. You actually pause in midair. <laughs> oh no. Okay, you're gonna have to teach me the combat system first. Oh, well, I figured out how to roll. So that's good. Something tells me I won't be able to save any of these bastards. Can I? Oh, I have a grenade? Okay. I don't understand any of this. How do I block? I want to figure that out now. Let's switch. I have two nice. Okay. Uh. Okay. It's control. That's gonna be annoying because my pinky isn't that strong. The unspeakable deep. Our first boss battle? Okay. Bet. We're probably meant to lose here. Oh! Yeah, we were meant to lose there. And that, my friends, is called a one shot. <laughs> Feeling this mission will surely plunge us into darker days. I awake to the sounds of waves washing on rock, and I knew I was alive. I must find the princess. Oh my god! Yeah. 
This game definitely holds up visually. For a 2D game? Sheesh. What's this? A gray pearl. Shippering Shore. Hello there. Well, hello there. You're just a fleshy bit of fartsome. Wash ashore with the rest of us, hmm? You'll want shelter. You'll want sanctuary. But what is a sanctuary without faith? There's a minty sanctuary at the beach. You can claim it for your creed. Tell me, do you keep the new gods? I, 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 I guess? Most men follow the three deities, the king, the knight, and the judge. The king leads wisdom to the men who lead. The knight protects warriors in combat, and the judge guides those who maintain order. Are you a follower of the three then? I... I... I guess? You're a follower of the three, as I suspected. Here's a Calabra of who Candelabra of the three icon of your creed. Oh, Chandelibra. Okay. I don't know what that does. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. But what's all this? Oh, it's telling me the controls. You want to tell me the controls after I fight? Fuck you, then. Left control, shield, and offhand. Okay. What's this? Let me pick it up. Oh, okay. A parry system? Left mouse. Oh no, there's a parry system. I'm not good at parrying. I'm a filthy casual. Left shift the roll. Yeah, I know that one. Damn. Did I say a sanctuary key? It's just it's out here in out in the open. How the hell is your sanctuary gonna be mine if it's the most unsecure location in the world? It's hard to switch loadouts. Okay. Switch items, yep. Uh, I keep missing these. They're so like hard to see. I have to use quit the item, of course. Escape if you inventory. Ah. Oh, look at my stats here. Level 2, strength, endurance, dexterity, willpower, magic, and wisdom. Is this my sanctuary? Oh dear, I hope there's not a bunch of monsters in here. Whatever shall I do? Select the icon? Claim Sanctuary. Oh, is this our bonfire? Okay, that makes sense. This is our, like our resting place. And here's the three that he was talking about. I wouldn't be surprised if these three are the people that I have to kill. There's some Dark Souls 2 type shit. Red shard, pouch of salt. Pouch of salt. The word of mankind is a salt his brow for the essence of life. Maltus 4 7. Is that a Bible quote? A traveler's pouch contains salt, but what is it used for? It's gonna be a lot of confusion here if I don't get told what these things do. All right. Another patch of salt. Please tell me what these. Oh shit! Fuck. This motherfucker. Put a damn air on my chest. What do I look like to you? Ah, uh, okay. Here's our first level. Let's just hack and slash real quick. The combat system feels amazing, by the way. Oh my- oh no. I just got juggled. Ah! 
Suck it, pussy! Wait. I, I didn't do that right. Fuck. Where's my knife? Suck it, pussy! Okay, cool. A lot of gold. I don't know how to go there. This music sounds great, by the way. Okay, maybe I would have liked a little bit more eerie music, but uh... I guess this works too. They respawn? Fuck you. Don't you be responding on me? I don't like it! Yeah, get fucked. A red shard. Are these our healing items? It sure is. It does it slowly. Okay. Never mind what I said about Dark Souls. This really feels like Bloodborne. I'm getting some huge Bloodborne vibes. With the whole undead cities and shit like that. How do I equip? Can I just not? I want my throwing knives. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna place Frost Fang. I'm guessing these are poison. I want to do a poison build actually. If there's a poison build available in this game, I would like to do a poison build. I'm a sucker for poison builds. Ah, oh, you. Come on. Okay, that thing's alive. Oh no. I thought it was just something there. That's- Oh! That's how we heal. Okay. The red shots are just collectible items that heal you slowly. So it's like infinite healing from Dark Souls 2. Oh my shit! Motherfucker took a bite out of my gizzard meat. You can't be doing that. Damn dog. What's this loot? I don't understand a goddamn thing here. It was cool though. A red shard. So can I buy those? Or is there like a limited amount of it, um, in the world around me? Because I don't want to use them and there's no, no more available to collect. That will kind of be shit. Damn, that dog ain't shit. I'm gonna try to parry. Oh no. Bad idea. Okay, hold on. I'm coming back for you. Come on, bitch. I did it? Well, damn. Ain't that brutal. I feel like that was a little missed time. Hopefully the parrying system is um, forgiving. Which I don't think it is. And this game doesn't seem that difficult. But then again, this is the first level. And even in Souls-like games, the first level is relatively easy. Ooh. I got new shit. Or no, that's the same shit that I have now. Okay. Let's- Wah! What is that? Oh. Bats? The hell? Okay. More grenades. Maybe I'll use that on this guy. Or not, because he'll just. Ooh, actually, grenades have range. Okay. Alright, um. Bandaged ring. A powerful ring, healing its wearer may suffer injury, but last wounds may have will be made less severe. Produces a wounding effect. Okay. So I don't know what that is. Maybe that's like a bleed effect some enemies have. 
Now I'm gonna take uh, reduced damage from those guys. That's good. I feel like falling down here is instant. Okay, I'm good. Okay, fall damage is a thing. Can't be jumping off them cliffs. More loot. Thank you. Stone blacksmith. What is that? I guess it's just an item that exists. It's not really telling me what it is. Okay, we'll figure it out some other, um, sometime. Ah, okay. There's a boss. I didn't expect a boss, but here we are. On guard. Oh my fuck. I have made a grave miscalculation in my power. I'm dead. I'm dead. That guy fucked me up first. Yeah. Take it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. Damn. I understand. I understand, dude. Okay. Did that guy just try to three-piece combo me? Oh, he three-piece combo me. No. Not like this. Salt. I don't know what that does still. I'm just wasting a bunch of items here. I definitely need a lot more healing. Patience is key here. Oh no! Okay, okay. So if I'm close when he lands, he's gonna do a nasty back swipe. I think I'm just gonna take my chances with ranged here. Because I doubt that I can put up much of a challenge to this guy. He's just spamming the shit out of that jump move. I do okay damage with the knives. Let's give him a grenade. Aw oh, man. I thought I was far away enough. Evidently not. I'm an idiot. Yeah, he's just gonna spam this for the rest of the match, I guess. <laughs> GG. I just all the damn items, but I did it. First try. The Sodin Knight's Ashes in a Fortress Key. Okay. Well, I guess that's officially the first boss dead and gone. I guess now I'm just gonna go back to the sanctuary. And I'll see what I have to do from there. And here we are. So, I think I like it. I want to actually go forward with this game and I want to see what there is to do. Because it's not as easy as I thought it would be. But I also do like the challenge that is presented before me. It really does feel like a Soulsborne game. It really feels like Bloodborne and I'm thinking that's what this game is um, based off of. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and if you like me, subscribe and I am out of here.